Hello everybody, Nox Borbat here, and welcome to Stonewood. So I had a request from a subscriber and viewer about, um, I think it's D down here. The, uh, the one in the amplifier in the mine, anyhow. So we're going to go check that out. And I also had a request on A, I think it is, from the south. So, because he's got a different amplifier setup than in the videos I built for you guys. So, let's go on down there. So, we will have our amplifier down here. Down in the bottom here. And it will get attacked from two, two sides, or is it three? You gotta forgive me, I haven't been in here in forever. So, but I'll walk you through it and show you what I have. You probably wanna do some tweaking, and some adjustments and stuff. I was not finished with this, but it did pass, and it yeah, it seems to work fairly well. I don't really uh, haven't ran this in a couple months, but it should work. So basically, we might as well start. I guess it gets attacked from three sides, so we'll start with east first. Now it's a little hard to explain. They spawn way over there which would be basically just below A, straight south of A, somewhere around there. It's where they will spawn. And they'll start heading this way, and they're going to come for D. Now, they can head over here and come down this way, down this ramp. And they can also head over to that side. But now, I think it was hot spots or something that come in on this amplifier, and there's quite a few over here or something. Well, this is going to be an interesting video, but anyways, I had to block this off. I used to have a tunnel over here and let them come this way, but I chose for a ton of block off to stop them from coming here. So just like this, and it's basically I just blocked it everywhere to stop them from coming that way. Now, thinking about stuff. Um, this is where you might want to do some changing. So, that tile there, that square, should be empty because that cone in there is doing nothing, basically. Because if a husk is going to jump from here down here, well, he's got, he can walk right up to your wall. So, you could remove ones like that. Bottoms of a cliff, but I think there's a ramp right here. Yeah, we have. See, this one's empty. And this one's the ramp. Yeah, there's a ramp here that goes up this way. Yeah, there's our ramp. Oh, hmm. Would you look at that? So it's just basically blocked off all the way right to here. You can use a lot better traps than that. <laughs> this is basically what I had on this account at the time. So, and I did opt in for a smasher bridge. And I probably could, you could put two more walls here. It's been a while since I've been in here and I was actually just starting smasher bridges to just become a thing when I did this. So I think it's like that. And I think... Mm. I might actually have to have one up here. Might need something there too, maybe, to connect it. It's just to keep it alive, eh? Tornado will come in over here. Now, Tornado will sometimes break this tile. Or that one. I think it's that one. I'm not sure. I'll explain that after. 
But if you have issues with it, you could put like an extra building health or something trap on the bottom or on top, whichever. And you probably could make that into a floor. That's just to make them path to that side. I don't know why it's edited on that side, though. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been in here in a while. So I apologize. But you wanted some ideas, so. And then some block off here. Because I believe there is a ramp here as well. And that probably would be for this side anyhow. But so anyways, we might as well finish east before we get into south. So anyways, I blocked this all off. So let's go. We'll go all the way to the top here. So there'll be second layer of block off as well up here, of course, or third or whatever. But and then here's the other side. Now you will have uh, spawn from A south all across the back here all in this area all across here all the way over to here so if you put a floor tile here it's just gonna get smashed and here as well and I think even maybe one or two of these so basically this is about what you're allowed to put in this area here without risking it getting smashed by spawns and it's equal to here and this lowly tree which is just that's one tile from this that's how far out I came and then one two three four tiles uh, what is that north four tiles north and then I started with walls again and here's the amplifier that's actually the one I have in my build videos. I never finished this. I was planning on it and then I was going to make a step-by-step -step well, as well on this, but it'll come in time. I have a, <laughs> I've got three accounts, so I've got a lot of amplifiers to still cover. And, of course, like some of the builds and some of my accounts aren't mine either. I mean, I do use other people's builds. you got to start somewhere, right? You know, some stuff I just built by myself, but it's pretty hard when you watch YouTube not to copy other people's stuff. So that's why I credit everybody that's uh, that I use their content from. Don't ask me why there's a door there. I think it was to get... I don't know. There's a door there anyhow. But then lobber shield and, and, uh, and stuff, eh? That's what all this is. And this is before crowd control. This was built, but you guys should be okay with all the tire traps. I left one row out, and I can't remember why I did that, but I did leave one row of tire traps out. And it could have been maybe propane husks or something. But anyways, so what I do is I start here at this amplifier, and then I just take them in over on this side. But this is all block off, and it's intended to be. I don't know if that's actually counts my count is a half layer or something but because of the small walls and stuff there will be a sandwich inside of here I bet you let's just make sure oh yeah yeah there's a sandwich in here and oh no floor so it's just a ramp facing out Which is right up here. And a lot of block off again here. The tunnel is actually right here where they walk, and they walk down that way. But right beside here, this must be a, I think this is a double wide ramp, is what this is. And I believe uh, it's just it's just all block off all the way through. Probably uh, floors and stuff underneath. Let me have a look here. Oh, not here though. There it is. 
I don't know why it's edited, though. Why would I have an edited floor? You have to forgive me, I'm just making this on a whim, so... <laughs> but at least they give you an idea of what may work for you. And of course, this is kind of incorporated into A from the south. I might as well go through that as well in this video. I mean, this, I might as well make it a good one. If I'm going to cover one, you might as well cover both because they're, they're part of each other, both of the two tunnels. So this is just basically back on this side. And then there's this ramp here. Come on. Really, Sarah? Well, I guess Sarah doesn't want to fit in there today. Okay, well, we go back around the other way. I don't know why I don't have two walls here. Or, I guess, one. Like this. Stop them from jumping down here, but... I... They weren't going for it. This was actually a pretty solid build. Uh, it does... Depending on your stats and stuff, it'll get injured here sometimes. This little square. Could be propane husks, too. Like, I didn't have the greatest of sound walls. <laughs> They're level 2. So. And. You could change a lot of this if you want. I just brought, brought them one tile past. Like, I didn't bring them right out the end of this amplifier. I went one tile over. From it. So here's the amp. And I just brought them on either side. Because I do believe when D what is this East? D East spawns. It'll spawn across like kinda I I think it's down here some and down here some. You have to forgive me, it's been a while, but there is also some a trouble spot. So there'll be a spawn up in here. Up in this area and it'll actually blow up a lot of these tiles right here these two this one maybe even some in here and some of the floors so that sucks for a and then up here as well we will have spawns for D East I believe there might be one over here or over here I'll have to run it and find out. I haven't ran this in a while, so. And then just, I, I opted for electric fields up top here, instead of tires. And of course, lots of, uh, lots of wall darts. These will be your best friends, you know. If you can fit a wall somewhere, throw a wall dart on it. They'll, they'll trigger from three tiles, so I mean, that wall dart there, if a husk steps on this tile, that wall dart's going to get him. And that's a pretty good thing. You know, and you get six darts on it as well. So, I mean, you can get extra husks if you want. I mean, you have two or three husks as long as they don't pierce. Say they won't go through the husks, but there's three of them standing side by side. should get them all. And dynamos as well. Wall darts and dynamos are like darn good combination. Because you put these guys on a short wall and put a wall there behind it, and that works really well. So I just path them down here. Now, I originally had a floor here, but they would just break it. So I said the heck with it, and I just took it out and let them come down into here. So depending what, uh, uh, what happens for you, you may have to do some changes. And stuff. And it is all just ceiling zappers, basically the whole way through. I have gas traps at the beginning for a little more uh, constant damage instead of reload and stuff. Yeah, and then this is where that block off would be. And then, of course, you have to have this corner open 
and this is where the Smasher Bridge is here. Oh, that's why it's edited this way. I knew I'd figure it out. So, Smasher Bridge wise, for I can't remember what waves it is. I think it's on the end, not the not the Mist Pod wave, the mini boss one. I guess it'd be 30. I may have had a 30 on here, unless 30 always comes on D. I think it actually does. The minis will come in here and they'll start doing the old loop de loop on here. So, but the, when they walk across here, or a smasher, if a smasher does make it back here, because I think they actually did, uh, they're on this side because the wall light will hit them and stagger them down there. So that's why it's edited that way. You could put one of those and something like that for a little more strength wise you know something like that because it's a tornado eight then you have a full floor here instead of the edited one I don't know the HP difference 1800 26 ooh that is quite a difference maybe we should leave it this way well I'm gonna change this anyhow I have a lot of anti airs in here as well I put them everywhere that was before I got my new ones. I now have these. But tornado wise, it's never really broke the bridge down. Smashes and stuff have. Like this this place got hit pretty hard, but I was trying at very, very low levels to pass it too. So I'm hoping that's good for east. Just do one more quick walkthrough to make sure I didn't miss anything. And traps, well, I really don't know what they are. I may still have some of them, though. I do believe I still have the wall lights. Well, maybe I don't. It had to be one of these. I think I actually uh, upped the color. Rarity. Could have been these ones. No, actually, it was this. One of the two, but I, I would go with some impact. Something three impact, two reload, effect duration. Four impact, one reload would even work. I put a ceiling electric field here so that it would hit stuff down here on the bridge. Smashers, all that. I like a smasher bridge, but no smasher is going to be walking around in. Uh, around here they're just gonna die <laughs> I'll kill them and basically uh, I think what the smasher would do was walk up here walk over here turn and as soon as he saw the amp he was just gonna go run it for it I think that's what happened the mini boss though I I think he just did a loop-de-loop -loop and then teleported maybe too so but there's nothing else over this way for east. Now this is my transportation name, by the way, back and forth. You saw how I came over here, I landed over here. Well you can just hit the jump pad. You want to go back that way again. And you can actually time it and hit the second one and be way over there. These things are very handy. It took me quite some time to get them in the right position. This will just be here on top of these ramps, see? So there's basically nothing else here. Just a huge spawn trap. It is three tiles high. And then our tunnel. not bad, 80 structures. That's pretty good actually. Am I making double stairs? No? Okay, good. And... There, maybe you can have an overhead view. Not very good, but...
Yeah, that's better. And then I do have, I guess, for this side of A, I have a different setup, kind of. There's still a tunnel and everything there, but this is just block off here. Because I don't have a tunnel here no more. Because my D is in a different spot, so you would have to make some changes or whatever, but that was, that's my block off there. I don't know if you need that much. I just went with lots. And I'd only put walls up to there. Considering pathing wise, why would a husk go from there all the way over here to come this way? Uh uh. They're gonna go from like there and try to go this way. And straight for our ramp. So Alright, next side. Uh so So south is here. Now, up on top of there, I was told there's a spawn on there, but I haven't seen it. And I watched many times for it, and I've never seen a spawn up there. But if there is one up there, don't put these two floors here. <laughs> or ceilings, sorry. A lot of this gets taken out by the tornado, too, so. <sighs> Pardon me, sorry. I needed a drink. Uh, okay, so south I actually have two sides to it. I I could. So we'll go through the east part. and The split in the middle is the big tunnel. So you saw the block off behind here already. All the way through in there. That'll be for south. I put an edited floor here just to keep them more to this side. For when they come up here. Like this. I mean, I don't think they can. They can still walk up here, but I think it's more for smashers and stuff. Tried to control smashers as much po as possible in this tunnel before they got up here. <laughs> That's a low level one. And this is just block off here too with a floor underneath, so they don't come up this part, this side. Nice timeout room down here. And it is all tires, basically. The electric fields are the... Probably the just-in-case. I don't even know why they're there. I don't think you need those. But if they do decide, do decide to smash through here... Because flingers and stuff would go this way. Eh? Flingers, lobbers... I believe. Lobbers, too. Would try to go up this way. You can put as much block off as you want. Sometimes they still want to go that way. Why is there a wood cone there? That's twice. There we go. I don't think that wood cone's supposed to be there. Maybe there's a spawn here. That could be. But they're down here anyhow. I think they're out there. And maybe even right in here. And then out here. But you should be safe to build all of this. And have it not get destroyed. And all I did was up this ramp here. I actually left it open. Husks don't really use it. I don't know why. I think it's maybe the path up. That's why they don't come here. But this is really, really nice territory for a lobber or flinger to stand up here, though. So make sure you watch for that. Could be the anti airs in there. I don't even know where space. Uh, Do we get space rocks and plank and stonewood? I better brush up on my uh, knowledge. So may this be the one side. And it is double single. Sound walls, wooden floor spikes, wall launchers, some tar pits, 
lots of wall arts and some dynamos. It's just a nice old time old room. I started the zapping on the second tile instead of here. It's pretty close to the front of the tunnel too. And then anywhere I could put some more damage I did. Those two I think are actually for up there. Now this actually took quite some time to plan out this side. Well, both sides, like, but south, I mean. That's got to be for the stuff up top, eh? Those ones, because you can't put them two tiles high. Because then they could walk on them? I guess they could, yeah, off of this one. It's, yeah, if you got to make changes, make some changes. But this is what I had been up to. And it's just everything for the smashers. These two are back here because nothing's actually going to walk here. Nothing's going to walk here. They're going to walk over here. And they're going to walk over here. They'll probably come across the corner of this tile like this. So then these will tag them. They'll tickle them. Tickle the smasher. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't do cheesy builds very well. Everything seems to just die. So the other side, same thing. I guess we could start down below. This one's a little different because it's got a little zigzag in the tunnel I made. And then I don't think I have any block off going that way. They kind of have free reign back in here that they can do whatever they want because if they do manage to go around all the way there's another whole tunnel over there so this side wall dart sound wall two sound walls actually another sound wall lots of sound walls because of propane husks you can add a corner wall in here if you want so they don't uh, like walk in like this and, and kind of around and miss this tile you could add you know oh, you could add something like this or that just to get that little extra distance that they gotta walk that really helps too you know you wouldn't think making them walk from here to here would make that much of a difference, but it does. It's amazing. And then this ramp is blocked on this side with a gas trap. Cone wall. Got a wall launcher here because sometimes they want it to go this way. I think it was the assassins, maybe. They could have even been chasing me, who knows. And another sound wall, of course. And tires again. They actually do quite a bit of damage too. So it's not a bad thing to still use tires. I'd actually, when crowd control first came out, I got so mad because they basically made tires not very usable anymore. I just totally quit using them and switched them all. This, to the end uh, maps I was working on. So, anyways, timeout room. You could do zappers here. I don't know why there's two gas traps, but you could put zappers there. Just watch your crowd control. If it's too much, you might have to like take one of these out if they do touch them both. I don't even think they would touch this one, but just so you don't have uh, no crowd control left by the time they're over here, you know? Because this is before changes, so I never counted or paid attention, you know? Like, because. Smasher could just walk right by here. Makes this useless, you know. Save you structures if you could, you know, or switch traps or something. Make it work. And I do believe there's nothing behind here. I think this is all rock here, isn't it? Yep. Not really any uh, block off on this side.
and nothing down by spawn. So basically no block off or anything on that side. They don't really go that way, and if they do, they'll just get killed by our other tunnel here. I will update this and run this eventually, but I got a lot to do. <laughs> I was actually working on uh, Flex Amplifier again in Canny, just testing the new well, not new, but testing it out again and tuning it up. I made some slight changes. Alright, so let's go through the last side. So west. Here's D and west. They basically just come up here. They will go up top there, but we'll get into that in a minute here. So same thing. Lots of wall dynamos. Wall darts. A row of two rows this is where all these zappers come in as well it's for this side but actually this side's really strong they bear they don't really make it much past down in the bottom here they might make it up here east is kind of weak and south is I think south was okay but east was kind of iffy I was still experimenting that side there seemed to work really good though I love it was a lot better than uh, when I passed them on that side so west here, it's basically a straight through, just wide open tunnel. And all I did was wall dynamos <laughs> everywhere. And just rows, and then wall darts down the, down the sides. And this actually works really good. And then a huge spawn trap of tires. And they'd be, oh, they're not even that good. I couldn't tell you the perks. They would only have four anyhow. I think it's four. Fifty ones have four. I don't even know if I have fifty ones. No. Where are my tires? They're there. They probably had some dura on them. And I did go all the way back to spawn because spawn is back here. All in here and across. Maybe some up top as well, like up in there. And I think there is a spawn here as well, kind of in this area. So and they they did want to go this way. So I blocked this off. I had more, I think. More block off, but I might have removed it. I can't remember, or I had a tunnel maybe, but I know it was longer at one point in time that it was actually all the way down, unless spawns take them out, but I'm not sure, but I don't think so because that stuff's there. So I think spawns will be out out here, and maybe up top, and I know, I, but I do know there is one here, so they probably are straight across the bottom here. This be all just block off here? You could almost follow my block off for that amplifier over there. I found I didn't need as much in this area though. Here. Because there's no spawn down there no more. So I didn't need all the block off for them coming this way. I still put quite a bit. And it doesn't look like I have edited floors. No. Of course on the on the ramp, yes. On the ramp I do. Up there. If you have to add more you can. I don't really have issues with them getting in here. Coming up here and jumping down. But they didn't make it very far anyways. I think, and uh, like, honestly, with this giant rock here, they don't even go down the middle. They always took the outsides. So some of these traps I didn't even need. I just left them though, in case they ever did smash it, or it got broke somehow. 
gonna end same thing, no block off here. Or anything. Because the husks could go around this way, right? From that amplifier, they could come around here. And here. And possibly even that way. There's all kinds of places they can run around. But even if they did come around this way, it would be lobbers, flingers, and stuff. They're usually the ones that go the other way. Everybody else just goes straight for the amp or straight for you. But lobbers and flingers kind of like to walk. They'll walk and walk and walk, and then all of a sudden, a minute into the wave, you're like, why are they all of a sudden throwing now? Well, they took the long road. <laughs> but yeah, west, west is very simple. And just zappers, tires. You can switch it out to uh, electric fields if you wanted. Bring it down the height. Just be careful whenever you do that for this kind of stuff. Where they can walk across here. I mean, I, I don't think they would, but... Aha. Uh -huh. That's probably why this is here. Yep. So flingers and lobbers must come up here somehow. Let's see here. Up there, around... Nope. They must, unless there's a spawn in the upper area here somewhere. But I have a floor launcher, a sound wall, and a ramp here. And it's right where this ramp is. And then it's block off all around it here. Three side circles. Why would this one be this way? It shouldn't be that way. Man, the stuff you find when you look around. Yeah. Should be that way. Or you could just cone it. Like that. That's probably the best way. So I must have had issues with them getting up there. Let's see where they would come from. Unless there is a spawn up here. Well, they definitely can't be walking this way. Well, they get up there somehow. Wouldn't be traps there if I didn't need them. Unless they're sneaky and they can cut corners, which they probably can. So I believe that would be it. We might as well go back over to A. It's only been 40 minutes. Uh, it's going to be an hour long video. Sorry. I apologize. But I do believe that's all of D. I think those two walls are just to jump up there, eh? With the jump pad. Just like that. Same with this cone here, it's just to get up here. I still missed. How many times am I going to miss that? Okay, we're going to aim this time. There we go. Let's aim. There we go, perfect. Meet your buddy in a hurry, spawn. <laughs> Cause I also do have these ones here. So it is travel makes quickly. Of course I missed. So yeah, if you want to get around in this place, it's not hard to to make yourself uh, a pathways. And, I mean, it costs you a few structures. Yes. But it is handy. 
So A, south, spawn down here. I think I already went over it, but they'll spawn down in here. Maybe up here. I'm, I'm not sure about up there. And then they'll head this way. So I tried to block this side off, but that just doesn't work. No matter what, they break through walls here and here. So I said, let them in. I didn't put anything here. Maybe you could, a couple tires, you know, or something. But this is, this is a little bit of a longer walkway for them. I do believe the amplifier is right behind here. And yes, it's fully connected. So this is a iffy build. It's one of those builds. But anyway, so this is this side. Be the west part of A. Center amp, I guess you could call it. And it, I still had issues on it. So if you guys know how to add a little more damage, sure. You go ahead and do what you gotta do. But this is what I had had so far. Because you also have A this way as well. And I went with a totally different design. Well, not totally, but I mean more of it just straight through. Instead of having timeout rooms with sound walls. That's why it's kind of like this instead A. Eh? normally I would have a timeout room and then more timeout rooms but I thought I'd just let him walk in see what happened a little more open concept I guess you could say more wall dynamos and wall darts though those things work so good like here yeah very handy yeah see here's our amplifier I see some block off here. Let's go have a look. So our amplifier is here. And then south sticks out like that. I see a couple sandwiches here. Bunch of layering. That's probably fairly similar to my other build. It looks close. And the same over here too, like the spawn trap and stuff. Not much block off here though. A little bit on these ramps though. Up and through here. Actually quite a bit I see. We better just measure it here. So it's right here. Top of this, uh, here's this square block here. Spawn is out here. I might as well go through both sides because then it's worth it. Here's that other amplifier on the hill. And this is my block off you guys had seen. I will go through this actually. I like this place. This one's probably my favorite Stonewood out of all three because I have all three. I also have another account that has this amp up here. That one. I'm still working on it though. I've only got up to like wave 20 some. 24 or 5, something like that. I think I'm up to now. I haven't updated it in a while, but I just ran it yesterday. Yeah, I had to go through this side as well because it kind of is part of this side. Block off wise, anyhow. So here's our upper. Here's where it drops down into a ramp. Now I didn't put a floor here because you know you could you could put a floor for block off. It's not worth it because they walk actually down the ramp. They're not walking up. So you gotta leave it open and have it like this. So I have one whole row here. Looks like it's three tiles. One, two, three, 
two, three tiles. And another row here. There's only two tiles down in there. First one empty for if they jump down. Or this way. You can put a wall here. If you want. But I figured it'd be the same amount of layering as if they just came through and jumped out. I never actually counted layers, but then here's the edge of the tunnel. And another layer. And that's the edge of this double wide ramp here. Or top, sorry. Comes across into here. And you might actually be able to do this. Could probably do that just as well. So I'll count it out here for you. Top of the double wide ramp. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight tiles. Oh, I guess it's all the way to here. I didn't think they'd want to go all that way around. Hopefully I don't have anything down here. I don't see any builds. Must be okay. Pardon me. Sorry about that. Alright. I think we're getting close to being done. Where did the music go? Must have been in here a while because it gets quiet. Maybe I need to build something. Nothing? No? Okay, fine. There we go. So back to the amplifier. It is connected. I don't really suggest that. It is. It's connected because I needed. I needed the damage because of the spawn over here. Eh? First few waves is okay if this gets hit before you get hit on D East, or if D East sometimes doesn't even come up here. Sometimes it's up here, and sometimes it's just down there. Spawns wander, eh? they're not always in the same place. And on different waves, they're in different places. It's kind of interesting how that works. But if this doesn't get blown up, this is a pretty good tunnel. It's not too bad. Semi, medium, medium strength, I guess. A lot of issues. I tried blocking things, you know, like block this off, and path them somewhere else. And there's probably a, many different ways you could do it. What I was thinking about was making a floating tunnel, one more out here, maybe? Then that way the spawn won't blow it up, if it's out here, say. You know, like like this, and then, I don't know how you do it. Maybe a ramp here or something? Bring them up this way and then across or something. Put a wall here. If they would path this way, they should, the amplifier's on this side. I don't know. I'll have to do some more testing. But the cross spawn here was kind of a pain. Yeah, it's just a bunch of sound walls. I took damage out of here because of propane husks, I think. Hmm. Maybe we should add a couple electric fields up here. Then I just went two gas traps and then zappers. If you have a lot of smaller husks in this area still, put electric fields here instead of zappers. Because zappers are one target. Electric field to do everything. And if it's still the little guys and the smaller ones, then electric fields would be a little more beneficial. And then zappers at the back. And I don't know how to make this any longer. Well, I. I would figure it out. I mean, I need to just test it. And if it doesn't work, I usually just smash the whole thing completely to bits <laughs> and start over with something fresh. But I am thinking. I 
like I almost could do a like a, a walk up thing because there is this ramp here too as well there's two sides that they come up that is why it is open too you can have a sound wall here if you want but I do believe uh, that should be it reason I don't know the reason why this is like this I think it's for three sides maybe this side this side and that side is why I had this I was experimenting actually because if you go like this they can walk up it go like this and I I don't know if it counts for this week if they can walk under it I think they can actually because husks will stand here and beat on it so I went with a taco, <laughs> or whatever they call those things. I think it's a taco. Dorito. Dorito. Just to try it. I was told Smashers don't like them. But I think Tornado actually might come out in this area. Not, don't really remember. I think Tornado might wander out here. But, anyways... That should be it. Ooh, look at that trap. Mm hmm. That's been a while. <laughs> Green. <laughs> yeah, this place needs a bit of an update. Actually, the wooden floor spikes are pretty good shape. I don't think there's any block off on this side. Yeah, no, this is all open in here. Why is there a boost pad here for no reason? Must be if you come across or something. Hm. Yeah, there won't be anything on this side. I think this is to get up there. Mm hmm. Right, where was I supposed to aim now? Oh, yeah, up there. You gotta hit both, eh? That's why there's two there. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but like if you stand here and you hit this corner, you'll hit that one and that one. So like for example, you go one, you only go to here. You hit both. Let's aim the right way. You go over to there. It's hard to do it. When I was building down in the bottom here, I was tired of just triple jumping all the way back to home base. <laughs> so that's why I actually built this. So it took a lot of mats to build that, you know. Like, an excessive amount of mats. I never run out of structures though, so that's a good thing. It is a big, it is big builds. I make big builds though. That's me. Well, that was a fail. Okay, well, I think that is everything. I don't know if there's anything else in the home base here I need to explain. My artwork, maybe. It's a pretty big piece of artwork. I don't know if you guys have seen that thing. Maybe you can see it from over here. I know you can see it from the Mac Grinder. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Dragon or something, I guess. A cat, <laughs> maybe. And it is pretty big. So 
I guess there I can get you an overhead view of the block off down below here. Ah, that's a good thing I come up here. There you go. Where's the door? And I'm supposed to have two flame girl traps. Actually, they don't need to be one oh sixes. Oops, wrong way. That's better. You almost gotta come up here every time you start into your home base and replace them because flame traps never stay lit for some reason so you can go anywhere you want in this thing down in the bottom I think that's the bottom part of his mouth maybe top bottom I just felt like building it one day. So there we go. Let's go over to the back grinder here for a minute. And I guess AFK spot. So I just came off of uh, home base here. One tile back from the corner. And I go one, two, three tiles up. Ramps. Two edited floors over. And then three tiles up. Floor. Two tiles up. And then I started in on this thing. And I think this is just a walk around this piece here. So you can get in here. It might even be a four person or four base back grinder. I can't remember. Because I think it might have some extra structures on it. And I think you put your base here. Or up there. Could put it here too. Okay, how do we get up there again? Oh yeah, this way. And then this is here to jump across if you're a constructor. Actually, I think I was putting my base maybe in the middle here. Could have put it up top too. Yeah, that's my Mac grinder. Ah, kind of made it look cool. So yeah, you see why the flame traps are there now. And I think AFK spot is maybe here, so I can look around. But I basically just went for over the soccer field, kind of. Well, not soccer field, but like oh, right over home base. I actually didn't know where to put my AFK spot, so I threw it here. That seems to work pretty good. And I think the rest of the home base is basically still the same. A little bit of this block off here. If you need another look. I 
it's just layers upon layers I don't think you need is all of it you can test take two of these out and see what happens if they start beating up front well you gotta put them back I mean you're running the endurance I mean if you, unless you go AFK all the time I know I do quite a bit Like stuff like this would be would need fixing, eh? Too much crowd control. Especially with the tires. So they just walk past all these wall launchers like nothing here. They just keep walking. Be basically a single file tunnel. Maybe some stuff that came up this up. Uh, no, I doubt it. There's still tire traps here. I believe that is the whole eh, round trip in the home base. And I didn't go through my other amplifiers because they're pretty much similar. You could build them the same way. There is similarities to my other builds. They're not identical though. Each home base is slightly different as well. You'll that's one thing about endurance. Not every endurance is the same. You could have the same home bases, same amp setups, and different stuff goes on. So anyhow, I am going to uh, leave it at that. Throw me a like, throw me a subscribe, and uh, yeah. Guys, have a good day.